I think, I think a lot about this community. I was born and raised here. Um, I have seen so many things develop here, grow here. I've seen Aberdeen Mall open. I've seen hotels open. I've seen the hospital grow. Um, I've seen schools, but you know, it, it's part of us. My daughter Lizzie is now six. Um, she is a cancer patient and has been fighting cancer for almost five years. Um, from that day, we entered into a, a routine that became our lives for the next two, three years where you don't know in that moment if you'll see her reach kindergarten. Um, you don't know if she'll make it next month when you are hit with cancer. It's completely unknown. And so that first day at the hospital, and we were told that we'd be staying overnight because her situation was dire enough that they wanted to monitor her overnight. So as a parent, you're just sick at that. But the team there made us feel just at ease, knowing that there were eight other sets of eyes on her and it didn't have to be us. Donors are an integral part of, of how we evolve as a, as a hospital and as a community and without them um, we wouldn't be able to maintain the standard of care that is currently happening at Royal Inland. We need to exceed that, we need to build it. Um, donors are absolutely the key to that and uh, as a business owner that was one of the first places uh, we decided to give back and we have a Love for Lizzie fund through the Hospital Foundation and we give as much as we can and it's it's unfortunately a lot of experience that makes people realize I need to get behind this cause um, but it shouldn't be that it should just be a desire to make your community better.